Who's that? Oh, that's Cole Howard. Even I've heard of him. Oh, Cole! Darling! My dear. I'm so terribly proud of you. <laughs> Are you happy? Ecstatically. <laughs> and do you love me? Emphatically. <laughs> Will you always love me? Fanatically. <laughs> Do tell me the show. How do you think the critics will receive it? Ungrammatically. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see absolutely no chance of us pushing our way through this crowd to our table, my darling, so I think I'd better sing a song. It might pacify the natives. <laughs> Tropical climes there are certain times of day When all the citizens retire to tear their clothes off and perspire It's one of those rules that the greatest fools obey Because the sun is much too sultry And one must avoid its ultraviolet rain <laughs> The natives grieve when the white men leave their huts Because they're obviously, definitely nuts Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. The Japanese don't care to, Chinese wouldn't dare to. Hindus and Argentines seem firmly from 12 to 1. But Englishmen detest a siesta. In the Philippines, there are lovely screens to protect you from the glare. In the Malay states, they have hats like plates which Britishers won't wear. At 12 noon, the natives swoon and know for the work is done. But mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. It's such a surprise for the Eastern eyes to see that though the English are effete, they're quite impervious to heat. When the white man rides, every native hides in glee because the simple creatures hope he will impale his solar topi on a tree. <laughs> it seems such a shame when the English claim the earth that they give rise to such hilarity and mirth. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. The toughest Burmese bandit can never understand it. In Rangoon, the heat of noon is just what the natives shun. They put their scotch or ride down and lie down. In a jungle town where the sun beats down to the rage of man and beast, the English garb of the English sarp merely gets a bit more creased. In Bangkok at 12 o'clock, they foam at the mouth and run. But mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. The smallest melee rabbit deplores this stupid habit. In Hong Kong, they strike a gong or fire off a noonday gun to reprimand each inmate who's in late. In the mangrove swamps where the python rumps, there is peace from 12 to 2. Even caribous lie around in snooze, but there's nothing else to do. In Bengal, to move at all is seldom, if ever, done. But mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday, 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 out in the midday sun. <laughs> <laughs>